Yeah, you know, I think that um, the queer community uh, hasn't necessarily um, gotten all the opportunities that we deserve to tell our own stories, you know. Um, and I think that um, when we uh, do get to tell our own stories, we can tell the truth about it and we can talk about the racism and the classism that exists, um, but then also really celebrate the, the joy that our community has in a really authentic way. And so, you know, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, I got to make this with such a great, you know, group of, of uh, queer collaborators. Yeah, I mean, we could have a lot more unity. I think, um, especially in America, there's a lot of fighting. We have a lot of problems within our own country, especially with a lot of anti-gay laws, anti-trans laws, anti-trans legislation happening. Um, you know, we're having a lot of problems here and a lot of infighting. So I wish that we could see each other more as kind of a unified country. Hopefully that'll happen someday. Yeah, you know, I think um, uh, as queer people, we're we're very good at judging people. <laughs> it's a skill that we've cultivated because um, it's actually part of our survival. Like we have to understand very quickly if someone's going to accept us for being queer or, you know, uh, like discriminate against us. And so, you know, it's something that we've learned how to do really well, but almost maybe too well to the point where um, we may be cutting off opportunity to connect with someone who's actually super special. And so, you know, I, I really love that we um, in this film talk about how, um, you know, uh, that your assumptions can be wrong, that if you get to know someone, you know, more as a human being, that it can open you up and, and, and to have a, a more fulfilling, you know, uh, meaningful relationship. And so, you know, I think, uh, I, I think Jane Austen's observations for how we exist in the world are totally spot on. And I think her, um, you know, uh, her message is something that we uh, can all utilize in our lives.